I'm playing at the moment my last composition called Cosmic Pulses. It is produced here through eight loudspeakers in a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a circle. But finally, it is the result of 241 superimpositions of eight channel movements. Here on the mixing console, I have a score contactor electronic music from 1958 to 60. And you see the equipment which I used at that time in the studio. So it is a pulse generator, it is a measurement generator, it is a sine wave and rectangular, sine wave and rectangular generator. And here it is a low, gen low frequency generators. And this here is a, what, what, what we say is sweeping, sweeping sound generators. These are the tape machines of that time. You see, there's an eight-channel machine and two-channel machines. They're the equipment. Here you have the same. And the eight-channel tape, for example, and the faders. And here. The so-called Anzeigeverstärker, um, that means it's, it's like a very narrow filter and you can use pulses and filter the pulses precisely with frequencies and it has the possibility to move it continuously. Here, third filters with the characteristics and frequencies. There's a very special kind of filter which I have used many, many times. The filter was built in the radio in Cologne. It is W49 filter, which allows the change of the width of a filtered, uh, uh, filtered band. And here, this is a reverberation plate. We had special plates at that time, and they were put into vibration and then recorded with microphone what was sent into such a plate for reverberation. These are again pictures of a rotation table which I constructed and made built. You see there are the microphones around the table and there is one loudspeaker with a cone in the front of metal or brass and I could move the table by hand up to six revolutions per second. So there you see the movements which I made, etc. And then here in the score, all the production of the sounds is precisely described in pitches, in envelopes. There it says in centimeters. At that time, we had 76.2 centimeters per second, a special kind of tape. See, every sound of 35 minute long music, there are thousands and thousands of sounds. Every sound is described how I synthesized the sounds and how I spliced them together. And then comes such a score which is just a graphic design which I made so that one can read somehow how the music is drawn in space. So at the top you have all the 15.7 seconds, 24.3 seconds, 25.5 seconds, etc., etc., up to 35 five minutes. And these designs describe exactly, not exactly, but describe visually what is happening in four channels. So the Roman numerals indicate the channels and the movements from one channel to the other, etc. So you get these pictures.
Ah, uh, here. There, for example, is another score which is called Octophonie, which means movements above the public and at the level of the listeners. And you see in the preface, I have described the studio in the radio where I worked. This is my son, Simon, who worked with synthesizers and modulators. He, he worked together with me. And there is the equipment which I have used. This is a special device for moving the sound in space. It was called quack, which means quadraphonic effect, effect generator, quack. You see my, my studio. Oh, this is, for example, something I brought for you. I can give you a copy from that. Of course, it's Cosmic Pulses, which I composed this year in the studio in Cologne. So the idea is that uh, I made 24 loops. The 24 loops are written in traditional notation. We can say 24 melodies and each melody has a different number of pitches. And then for each layer of 24 layers, I indicated graphically how speeds could be changed within seven octaves and how dynamics could be changed between maximum and minimum. And then this is then the general score. See, it has 24 layers from 1 to 24. And the layers begin in the work one after another. You see here. The first layer is here, the second layer begins at 40 seconds, the third layer is at 1 minute 20, and so on and so forth. Either at the distance of 40 seconds or 1 minute, the layers enter one after another. And these are the ways I have treated the sections of each layer. And as a matter of fact, each section has a different octophonic movement. So the 24 channels enter one after another. And, and the 24 channels from 1 to 24 have different speed. So the tempo is indicated either 240 per minute up to 1.17 per minute. That is extremely slow. So then one wave is 16 seconds long and the other one is six hundredths of a second short. So I like very much to experiment with different speeds at the same time. So here are the speeds indicated, the tempi, and this gives you an idea how a whole organism of layers is shaped. And then here I have a drawing how these individual sections, each section here, one, dun, 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 etc., is moving in space. So this is section one. The sound goes dun, 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 dun. The second one goes Da di di da 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 The third one, di da 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 di di da 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 da. So they all always rotate differently each section. And these are sections one to seventy-three. They are all superimposed. They are synchronous with computers. I have synchronized them. So it goes on from seventy-three. 74, 5, 6, 7, eight. so up to here, and then here, 
also we have the continuation of all the space movements up to 241. And each movement has eight points. And these eight points are indicated here like loops. For example, the first one, you have to look at number one. Ah, oh, yeah, number one. The first one has 84157362, 84157362, etc. The second one has these. There are always loops moving in different ways in the space. Of all the 241, up to here, 241, there. Rotations in space. So with this and a precise description of what kind of apparatuses I have used and this score, with this score, one can understand how it is composed. That does not mean yet <laughs> that one can hear it all. Even for me, it's an enormous challenge to hear all this complex music, which we hear now, for example. In order to hear all the movements and the directions, timeless, it needs an enormous lucidity, but one has to be very sharp to follow everything that's going on in the air. But that is interesting. I like that. I had even to invent a special machine which I called the Octech. That means Octophonic Effect Generator, Octag. And they built this machine in Freiburg for my work. And the Octag means that with an octophonic distribution for every section of sounds, one can program in a computer, in a very complex computer, all the movements and synchronize the movements in time. So there is no end to new discoveries and no end to continue the, the research and to continue the invention even of equipment. Music now is very closely related to the equipment with which it is made. And that is something new in the history.